Congratulations, Junior Riders of 2020. I am excited to join your family, your faculty, your friends, to celebrate you, salute you, tell you that we love you, we believe in you, we're super proud of you, and we ask you all to commit to join us in four years at your high school graduation of 2024. Thank you for contributing to our community every single day. Please do remember to stick together. Remember for yourselves and for each other that we need you. You are an extraordinary class. We are living extraordinary times and I can't wait to see what the future holds for all of us. Thank you again to your teachers, your administration, your families. Muchísimas gracias y felicidades a todas las familias que celebran a estos jóvenes hoy. También nos comprometemos todos de apoyarlos para que sigan a la próxima gradación. Felicidades. Adelante. This year's recipient of the Law and Public Service Courageous Scholarship Award goes to Jonathan Hernandez. This year, Jonathan has been an exemplary student, and even through the COVID-19 pandemic and distance learning, he's continued to bravely ask questions, communicate with his teachers, and turn in all his assignments. In addition, Jonathan was courageous enough to take on the role and extra work of representing Hollenbeck Middle School in LAUSD's Superintendent Student Advisory Council. Jonathan has a positive attitude, brings out the best of his peers, and, fell, and faces challenges head on. He has a bright future ahead of him, and he is the most deserving of this award. Hello, my name is Jonathan Hernandez. Welcome to our 2020 eighth grade recognition ceremony. We hope that this virtual program brings you joy, unity, and a spirit of celebration. To begin, let's join my fellow student, Arcia Jeffries, in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you, Jonathan, our proud member of the Superintendent's Student Advisory Council. Families, please stand up wherever you are, kindly put your right hand over your heart, and repeat after me. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Thank you, families. It is my pleasure now to introduce a warrior, a person who has courageously not only let our school and everything was normal, but especially now, in the midst of a pandemic. Please give a round of applause for our principal of Hollenbeck Middle School, Mrs. Elsa Bolado. Good afternoon, parents, family, friends, teachers and students. Buenas tardes, familias. Students, we are so proud of your accomplishments. You are coming to an end of one journey, but of course the beginning of a much larger one. A new journey awaits you, filled with challenges and adventures. These last months of your eighth grade year have been full of uncertainty, but rest assured that the teachers have worked endlessly to prepare you virtually for high school. This year, the year of the pandemic, the year of civil unrest in our country, may not be what you envisioned, but I'm eager to see what you will do with it. After all, it is still very much your year. You are the class of 2020. You are resilient and innovative. You have the power to make the most out of this unfortunate situation. You have proven that you can handle adversity, change, and independence. Continue on this path your community and family need you because you provide hope for the future. Junior Riders, thank you for being part of our lives and thank you for being part of each other's journey. You have each brought something very special to Hollenbeck Middle School. You will be missed, but we are so excited for your future. Remember to be kind to one another, to practice social distancing, 
or physical distancing, but remain as social as ever. Use your voice and social platform to connect and uplift, to advocate for social justice and strive to make this world a better place for everyone. Familias, gracias por unirse con nosotros y garantizar que sus hijos y hijas sigan adelante. Ustedes siempre serán los maestros más importantes en sus vidas. Sigan mostrándoles lo que significa luchar y echarle ganas a la vida. Aunque nuestros estudiantes se nos van a la preparatoria, sigan apoyándolos y sigan involucrados en sus vidas escolares para asegurarnos que ellos realicen sus sueños de graduarse en cuatro años y tener opciones como ir a la universidad o seguir el oficio de sus sueños. Students, you're living through history. Your bold reaction to this is going to make history. There is no pandemic strong enough to silence you or dent your passion. You are the makers of your own future. Be brave, be bold. We wish you the best. And now, parents, family, friends, and teachers, I present you the Hollenbeck Middle School Class of 2020. Congratulations, Junior Riders. After listening to such a powerful address from our principal, we will now listen to Ms. Claudia Flores, our assistant principal, who presents our keynote speaker. Good afternoon, members of our Law and Public Service family. At this time, I proudly introduce this evening's very special keynote speaker and alumnus of LPS, Jasmine Moreira Paz. Jasmine was born in Honduras and immigrated into Boyle Heights at the age of three. Her K-12 educational pipeline includes Second Street Elementary, Hollenbeck Middle School, and is currently completing her ninth grade year, or freshman year, at Mendes High School. While at Hollenbeck, Jasmine was very involved. For instance, she participated in a Communities in Schools camp that helped her gain greater self-confidence. This year, she was scheduled to return to the camp as a camp counselor. Further, Jasmine was involved in our Hollenbeck Book Club where she learned how things could be interpreted very differently depending on the person. She is also a Lundquist Fellow and participated in a program at Oregon University last summer. It is my honor to introduce J. Jasmine Moreira Paz. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'd like to begin by saying that I didn't think that I'd be doing this. I've never really considered myself to be a person with words, but here I am with all of you. We could say that part of the magic of life is like that too. It tends to be unexpected. I have a feeling that even though you are excited, you're probably a little nervous about what's to come in the next four years. My piece of advice is to come with great disposition, but not to expect to understand everything in just one year. Do what feels right. When it comes to meeting others, don't push yourself to become a complete extrovert so fast. Maybe start by introducing yourself to your teachers and staff and go from there. Although we try to plan everything out, the truth is eventually we stick with which feels right. The key is to try. I've opened myself to do things in high school that I would have never thought about doing before, like joining a sewing club or journalism. Not every experience worked out, but some did, and if they did, I make sure to try hard. I think that that is something that I've learned so far. If something feels right, you don't need to think twice before committing to it. But when it doesn't, it is okay not to force yourself to stick to it. In fact, that is the whole purpose of high school. It is to find yourself and help others learn to be independent. I've also learned that Unity is the greatest support system you can probably have in high school or anywhere. Making friends with a few older kids can help you in the sense that they've probably been through or are going through some of the challenges that you're, that you're going through at the moment. I've met an amazing group of friends that I've, have helped me in my lowest points and brought me to my highest. They really pushed me, but in a good way. And I think it is great to find such a group of people in high school that do the same. Unity is exactly the force that is moving us now. People are using unity to fix problems that have, the government has been turning a blind eye to for decades. Racism, white privileges, and police brutality. 
Most of you have already heard his name, their names. His name was George Floyd, and he died by the hands of a policeman, even though he complied. This hurts emotionally and physically. It still amazes me how black people can't even go outside without having to be scared. Certainly Mr. Floyd is not an isolated case, and we need justice. For the restoration of peace and a mindful government, and for all the lives that have been lost, including that of George Floyd, I would like for us to take a moment of silence. Yet there is still hope for us, and this hope begins with you. You can stand up, and standing up isn't just through protest. It can look like you, me, us trying too hard to prove the oppressive system wrong and assuming that we might be failures or just one more negative statistic. Standing up can also look like doing what's right in spite of what others do when something is in your care. Or it can even, see, it can even simply be spreading the word and educating others on the subject. You have had many opportunities to do some of these things here in Hollebeck. Personally, I took the opportunity to go to Oregon which was an amazing opportunity and really helped me expand my social and academic skills in various ways. Not only that, but traveling for free to have fun makes you feel pretty special, you know? And I think we all need some of that. There is a quote from a movie that says, don't let anyone ever make you feel like you don't deserve what you want. And I think that is really true, for you see, anything is in your reach. All you have to do is want it enough to try. A great example of this is in fact all of you right now. The fact that you are here shows that you really know the power of education. Dare to do everything to become what you want to become. I personally see myself in the film industry. It has always fascinated me how something so little like the right song in one scene can change the emotion of a person so much. But guess what? No matter what I do, I'm going to make sure that whatever I do, I enjoy to the fullest. I'm going to make sure that the people I surround me vibrate as emotionally high as I am. I think that my first year of high school was crazy, and so was your last year of middle school. But at least you know that now not even a pandemic can stop you. In the years to become, life is definitely going to be hard. You will certainly meet people that try to bring you down. But it's always going to be in your hands what happens next in the movie we call life. Keep being resilient, class of 2020. The Law and Public Service Academy will now proudly introduce its valedictorian for the culminating class of 2020, Leslie Perez. Leslie embodies all characteristics of an LPS student. For the past two years, she has demonstrated a strong dedication to her academics and responsibility to the Hollenbeck School community. She has earned the privilege of speaking to you today because she worked diligently to become this year's top student. Leslie can best be described as determined. She is determined to excel academically. She is determined to lead and she is determined to be a positive force for the future. Leslie, your work ethic has inspired our school and your smile has brought our magnet joy. Thank you for all your hard work. Congratulations. Good afternoon, distinguished audience. Though we cannot see one another, I know that we are all united at heart. Today is a turning point in our lives. Our time together has gone by in what feels like a second. Looking back at our first year, I can say that we've all matured. Before, we used to play a lot, but once we returned as eighth graders, we became more serious, which shows how much we've grown. We're becoming fine young adults. Take a moment to feel that pride. Indeed, more than memories, we created a life together. All the laughter and smiles that we shared both in class and outside will hold a special place in our hearts, whether that being acting out a scene for history, telling jokes to one another, or hanging out and eating at the trip to UC Santa Barbara, just to name a few. Nonetheless, this is not a moment of nostalgia. It is a moment of celebration and deep gratitude. We are the pioneering class of a new magnet, an ambitious project of social justice. 
took a moment to feel that pride. Our Law and Public Service Academy has helped us to become leaders who actually create change, like leading our own assemblies, modeling student-led conferences, and broadcasting our very own YouTube channel, as well as collaborating with local programs and city courts. LPS has truly pushed us so that we can be prepared for the obstacles that the world throws at us. We are not one of bystanders. We will grow up to fulfill our goals and become agents of growth and compassion for our community. No doubt, our teachers have been a huge part of the success. I want to thank every single one of you, our amazing team of mentors. Each of you has been extremely kind, caring, and supportive to each and every single one of us. We are a family. The fact that you believe with all your heart that we will be accomplished in life reassures us. Not once have you given up on us. Instead, you've pushed us beyond our own capabilities, showing us a new and more empowered version of ourselves. Your faith in us is admirable. Please know that we appreciate you. I also want to say a special thank you to all the families. You play the most important role in our lives, and knowing that you're both supportive and understanding is a blessing to us. Familias, su apoyo incondicional, amor y afecto son pilares de nuestro crecimiento. Les ofrecemos nuestros logros con un pequeño gesto de agradecimiento. As you all know, we've had to face a huge pandemic this year, which prevented us from attending the second half of school. This was difficult, and we've all felt worn down, but that is not where the story ends. The next chapter is up to us. Know that ups and downs are part of the dynamic of life. Living to the fullest means embracing the reality that there are always going to be both challenges and rewards. Good outcomes are possible if you believe in yourself. Miracles will happen if we believe together. I wish you luck, but more importantly, I wish you happiness and confidence. Class of 2020, it is my honor to remind you that we've got what it takes. So don't let anything steal your thunder and rise to the occasion. Thank you. We will now begin with the roll ceremony, a special tradition of our magnets. This is a beautiful opportunity to exchange words of gratitude. LPS scholars and families, please use the guides we provided you with to follow along. Students, turn to your parents and repeat after me. Please accept this rose as a signal of my appreciation. For all the love and attention that has sustained me throughout these years.
Ahora es el turno de los padres. Por favor, repitan después de mí. Yo recibo esta rosa en reconocimiento de tus logros. Y como un recordatorio del esfuerzo que se necesita para alcanzar tus sueños. Voy a seguir aquí para apoyarte y animarte. Hasta que cumplas todas tus metas. LPS class of 2020. Uh, I just wanted to say that it was awesome being your teacher the last year and a half. Uh, I hope you learned a lot from me because I learned a lot from you. Um, I wish you the best of luck in high school and please reach out to me if there's anything that I can do for you. I wish you the best of luck and take care of yourselves. Class of 2020, I want to thank you for trusting us with your education and for allowing us to grow together in these past two years. I couldn't be prouder of the LPS culture that you've initiated and which will become the legacy of generations to come. Since day one, you came in with a spark and you never let us down. If we had an idea, you were there to help us bring it to life. If we had a challenge, you doubled your efforts to ensure that our LPS family would shine. If we had an opportunity, you took it, even if it meant giving up some of your time. We always felt supported by you. Having bared witness of your courage and leadership truly lightens up my heavy heart, for you are exactly what our world needs. Talented minds, fully equipped with kindness and compassion. As you move on and become victorious in every endeavor, please remember that you have been nurtured 
to empower and never to abuse power. Gracias, chicos. Good evening, parents and students. In the past two years, we have watched you grow, not just physically, but emotionally, academically, and socially. We watched you develop strong LPS character traits, such as self-control, integrity, and perseverance, which will help you as you take on new challenges in high school and beyond. Nothing could have prepared us for what we're going through, and your perseverance and grit have been tested, but I believe that you are ready to face the challenges that may come your way. Remember that we are here for you, and we can't wait to hear about all your successes. Congratulations to you and your parents. Thank you. LPS Class of 2020, it has been an honor to be your science teacher for the past two years. As you entered my classroom as seventh graders with bright eyes and excited to learn, it melted my heart. As eighth graders, I saw that excitement turn to a passion of learning and that gave me hope. As you transition into high school, I challenge you in three ways. The first way, I challenge you to pursue justice. We need critical minds and compassionate hearts just like yours to serve our community, to serve our city, and to serve our world. Second, I challenge you to stay resilient. The work of justice is never ending. It is tiring and it is overwhelming. But you stand on the shoulders of giants. And when you work collectively with others with that same dream, nobody can break it. Finally, I challenge you to honor your story. Nobody on this planet has your story. Nobody in this world. And so your story matters, not just to you, not just to your family, but to the world. And your story matters to our school forever. And with that LPS, I am honored, I am happy, I am excited for you, for your families, and for our future. I will always be here for you. Thank you. Carlos. Amador. Ashley Arroyo. Giselle Avalos Ibarra. Alexander Ayala Sevilla. Brianna Barrios. Santizo Saint Julian Beltran Angel Benitez Cano Heidi Bonilla Letty Calderon Jesus Gandia Leslie Cano Michelle Canola Hernandez Freddy Carrasco Alina Carrillo Hailey Castañeda Santiago Castillo Jessica Castro Adam Chico Saul Clemente Rosalyn Coreas Pilar Cristóbal Andromeda Cruz
Christopher Cruz. Jose Cruz. Priscilla Cuevas. Evelyn Dominguez. Aisha Elizalde. Brandy Escobar. Christian Espinosa Ceballos. Frank Fachada Morales. María Felipe Pedro. Skylar Felix. Amanda Flores. Daisy Flores. Evelyn Garcia. Karina Garcia. Julissa Garcia Torres. Josué Granciano Santana. Destiny Marie Guerrero. Kendall Guillen. Alyssa Hernandez. Jesús Hernandez. Jonathan Hernandez. Liana Hernandez. Ashley Hernandez Fuentes. Natalia Herrera. Emily Hirschberg. Esteban Ibarra. Nailea Ibarra Ayala. Arcia Jeffries. Cassandra Jiménez. Ashley Juárez. Fernando Juárez. Ricardo Juárez Estrada. Gabriel Legaspi. Kevin López. Rene Lopez. Andy Lozano. Kimberly Lozano. Esmeralda Maruquín. Jeremy Martinez. Joseph Martinez. Kevin Martinez. Saul Martinez de Leon. Jose Medina. Audrey Mejia Flores. Melody Melgar.
Julian Morales Christian Moreno Andy Moreno Lopez Kyla Nunez Cesar Nunez Granado Mixley Osegueda Joshua Ordunia Steve Palacios Devin Patino Samuel Partida Gabriela Pérez Karimei Pérez Leslie Perez Melissa Perez Lizzy Portillo Sarah Quijada Monquel Rainey Emily Regalado Raymond Rios Omar Rios Morales Alam Rodriguez Stephanie Rodriguez America Rojas Kira Rojas Steven Rosario Itzel Roacho Jeffrey Rubio Guatemoc Ruelas Erwin Salazar Rachel Sanchez Guadalupe Sanchez Vasquez Mario Santillán Rafael Tlatilolta Alice Torres Garcia Hector Uribe Jesús Valderrama Esmeralda Velázquez Sarah Velázquez Inti Vidal Matthew Virgen Jonathan Saldana Kevin Saldana Heidi Savala Reina Zuniga
And this concludes the Lawn Public Service Ceremony. Congratulations, Class of 2020. I would like to give this to my best friend Pilar Cristobal who has been there for me through my ups and downs and has been there for me. I really appreciate her and thank you for everything. Another shout out I would like to give to to all my LPS teachers who have been there for me and who helped me learn many things and will help me be so successful in life. I'm gonna miss you all but you all have a special place in my heart. Thank you once again LPS teachers. You guys are the best. And last but not least, goodbye Holland Beck Middle School. I wanted to give a shout out to my friends like um, Skylar, Miss Lee, uh, Karina, Giselle, Melissa, um, Daisy. Who else? Okay, I hope I don't forget anyone. I'm sorry. Um, that's a lot of friends too. Um, you guys were really nice. You you helped me through a lot, and I hope you guys will help too. Hopefully, I hope you guys will a lot. We. I feel like we bonded a lot throughout this year and um, even though we didn't have a chance to bond more because of this whole pandemic, uh, I wish you all the best. If some of you are going to different high schools, uh, I hope everything goes well for you. Um, I'm really gonna miss you guys if you guys go to different high schools, but you know, um, some of you are coming to mine, so uh, I hope to see you again. I hope you, I, I hope you are happy to see me too. Uh, I'm gonna miss you guys throughout the summer and um, you know we're not gonna be uh, junior writers anymore you're gonna be better than that so congratulations uh, I just want to say goodbye and thank you and have a great time
Student Advisory Council. Families. Wait, what was it? I can't. <laughs> I remember. Up here, students. Please, team two. Oh. I keep messing up, mister. As you all know, we've had a phase. Oh, why do I say fate? As long as it gets to my highlights. <laughs> It's, it's a beautiful opportunity to explain. Oh, explain. Superintendent so Student Advisory Council. Families. What the heck is it? I keep on forgetting. Oh my god. Good afternoon, distinguished audience. Though we not, though we... Take two. 